Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at the IGCC ICT May June 2017 uh, paper 3 1. And the last video, we have been looking at paper 2 1. And um, um, in this video, we'll do paper 3 1. So I already have the files that I need for uh, this video. And then also, um, I have the question paper. Okay, so that's the question paper is May June 2017 paper 3 1 and um, we'll go straight into task 1 okay evidence document so open the file 1731 evidence.rtf um, make sure that your name center number and candidate number will appear on every page of your evidence document by placing these in the header so we have specifically been told to place the information in the header um, in the past papers or the previous papers we've been told to just make sure that it appears on every page of the document but in this case um, um, we are told that it should be the header okay so save this as a word, a word process document in your work area with the file name uh, 1731 evidence followed by your um, candidate number for example 1731 evidence 9999 you're going to need your evidence document during the examination to enter answers to questions and also just to place your screenshots when required okay so let's go ahead and just do that so open the evidence document and insert in it um, insert um, a header blank three column and um, the name Chikasa Evans and I insert the center number of ZM556 and also insert the candidate number 0001 okay then you're going to save this as in your current folder but you're going to save it as a word process document and then you're just going to add in the candidate number at the end there okay so save and okay all right so done with task one um, let's go ahead and do um, task two task two is web page you work for Tower web and are going to um, help some trainees develop um, web pages to teach students about web website authoring and um, point number one is that create a new folder called HTML underscores um, 1731 so I'm just going to copy this and um, go in here and create a new folder and I will name it as that okay next step locate these files um, locate the following files and store them in your newly created folder okay so we will get the the two CSS files and also this image file okay so let's go ahead and just do that so there's two CSS files are this one like you can tell the type here is said cascading style sheet documents um, so just pick them up and then the image file which is the PNG file is this one okay and then drag and drop them inside the newly created folder okay next open the file um, 1731 san um, 1.png in a suitable application okay so this is um, where you're going to do some editing of your photo okay uh, now you guys you have different applications that you're using depending on um, the school uh, the one that is acceptable in your school um, you can use a uh, Photoshop um, to do this um, um, you can use also um, like I'm using I'm going to use picture manager okay it's actually very simple and it comes with front page when you just install front page and you have it there so um, I'm using um, Microsoft Office picture manager and just click there and there you go with my picture so let me read the question first of all it says resize the image so that it is 704 by 528 pixels now 704 this is going to be the width of the image and then this is the height of the image okay so the first component here the first attribute is actually representative of the width and then this one is representing the height okay and then we're going to save this image with a new file name um, 1731san2.png okay so let's just go ahead and um, modify um, this property for this file so 704 by 528 so open your picture manager let me just enlarge it I don't even have to enlarge it let me just enlarge it so that you can see anyway go to edit picture I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that you can see the entire picture um, take note that if I hover my mouse on this picture you can see the dimensions let me just capture the dimension you can see the dimensions captured here is 2816 by 2112 okay so it's relatively a large file okay so 
just a script here and go to resize okay you first of all want to resize the image and it's supposed to be 704 so you go on custom size and it's supposed to be 704 by 528 okay five um let me just say 528 okay so take note that the new size is going to be here it's showing that it's 704 by 528 so click OK and there you go that will be um, your image okay so the new image is this one so we're going to save us so go to file save us please don't click on save otherwise it will replace the original image and you need the original image so for this one we're just going to change the value at the end there to make it two and save it okay next um, so this is our evidence document let's go back to the question paper next we are going to um, step number two says that um, remove the right of the image okay so if this is the image you remove the right side which is the gray area to make it 230 pixels wide and 528 pixels high like this okay so this part where the image is marked by an, an X if this was a picture it should be cropped off and you remain only with a white part okay and you're supposed to save this picture as 1731 sans the sun 3.png okay so let's go ahead and just uh, modify this one so 230 so from 704 we need to reduce it further until it is 230 okay so you can do your math very well and find out how much you're going to remove from 704 so that you remain with 230 so let's go ahead and do just that go to picture manager and um, this file which is now um, um, which is this one we're going to crop it okay so let's go to edit picture and crop the picture take note that the height is already 528 we have the width which is 704 and we need to reduce it now we were told in the question that we are cropping the right side of the file okay so you need to be very careful here. you're cropping the right side of the file so you need to select the crop and then drag this file until it is this high alternatively um, if you're using the, um, um, your, your photo editor on the right side you just need to um, to 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 specify by how many pixels you want to crop off okay so I need something that can give me close to 230 or 230 so let me find out let me say five um, if I crop out 500 I have 204 okay so I need 230 so to get to 230 I need to crop out let's say 474 474 okay so if I crop out 474 on my new dimension it shows me that this is now going to be five th uh, 230 by 528 and you can see already here in the image that the right side which is now light gray uh, let me just do this I'm going to crop out this area okay it's going to be eliminated and what I'm going to remain with now is actually this area okay so I hope this is clear guys and uh, let me go ahead and crop out this and now I'm going to save this as um, image number three so I'm just going to add um, a three at the end there okay so done with um, doing uh, working with the images and um, the next thing that we are supposed to do is to display the contents of your HTML um, um, this one this is the folder which we just created in step one and uh, we need to show the folder name the image dimensions and all file names extensions and file sizes so you need to be very careful here you need to make sure that your folder name is there um, you need to make sure that the image dimensions are also there and the file names are there and the ex their extensions and their file sizes so if you come back here take note that um, the name is there which is the file name then you don't need the date modified but um, um, it's fine um, the file type is here the size is there and the dimension is there okay so now you guys some of you, you may not have the dimensions indicated there so you just really re need to right click on um, um, the boundaries here just right click here let me just maximize this you you need to right click anywhere here and go to more and then scroll down and look for dimension and add it there um, um, you can do that for any of the attributes that you don't see displayed here okay so mine I have already the dimensions showing the size the type of the file and the name of the file and um, also the name of the folder so what I need to do now is to capture this okay so I'm just going to crop this get this 
um, to show um, the path and the name of the folder at the end there and then just copy this and then paste um, paste it um, in your evidence document under evidence number one okay and just go ahead and paste it like that all right so next thing that you're supposed to do um, go to the next question um, so next question uh, we've taken the screenshots and we've shown this um, in our evidence to, uh, one next we're supposed to do is to evaluate in our own words um, um, other changes that you could make to this image to make it more suitable for use in a web page now remember the image that we have um, we have just um, resized or worked on was initially a very large image and uh, one of the disadvantages that you guys are going to find is um, that when you work on images that are very large um, they, 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 they prove to be very uh, difficult to, to be used in web pages one they take long to be loaded um, uh, in a web page over uh, making um, the user very frustrated waiting for a, just a picture to be loaded because this picture is relatively large so you need to work on the picture to reduce on its file size so that it can be loaded faster in the web page okay so when you talk about evaluation you're looking at both the advantages and disadvantages of something so you're you are, you are, you are taking into consideration um, two things or two sides of the story or two sides of the coin okay so you need to evaluate um, some of the changes that we can make to um, further reduce this picture so take note that we have done the resizing and the picture has been reduced in terms of size we have also done um, if you come back on the picture here take note that initially this picture was of size about 9 MB which is 9800 kilobytes this is just roughly about 9 MB and um, after we we resized it to 704 by 528 the size reduced to 816 and after we cropped out some um, the size it reduced further to six, uh, 261 okay so we've done cropping and we've done resizing but there is also uh, something else that you can do just to make sure that this file is is done you can also perform some compression on the file okay you can change the file format um, let's say from a PNG which is portable network graphic um, it is a relatively larger file so to say you can change it to um, um, JPEG or GP, JPG you can change it to GIF okay the graphical interchange format and um, you can also um, change the color depth of this, 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 this image. Now the color depth would actually represent how many dots or how many bits are represented per, per pixel. Okay, So you have color bits such as 24 bits, um, you have 16 bits, uh, you have 8 bits. So um, the color bits would, 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 would imply that, um, for example, if you have a 24 pixel um, image, you are talking about an image which which uses about eight bits to represent each color so red is represented by eight bits green is represented by eight bits and blue um, which uh, which of the, um, these three actually stand for the primary um, colors as you know um, and um, so when you, you change the color uh, the color depth of an image you're actually affecting how many uh, bits are going to be used to represent um, this um, this this um, this image per Pay, pay, pay. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Let me not even go into detail because I was, I was almost wanted to um, wanted to start. I almost wanted to start explaining now uh, in detail about the color depth. But you guys, you can do a research, um, a further research on this one. But all I, uh, all you should know is that um, um, the the higher the color depth that you have for an image. Um, the, 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 the larger the size of that image because, because you're going to need a lot of pixels to represent a particular image and the image is actually going to be HD so to say it's going to be um, a very clear image that's why you guys um, um, who have very good phones you notice that when you take a photo with your very good phone um, the size of the image can even be as much as maybe 12 MB or 40 MB um, because of so many pixels that you're trying to represent uh, in, a, in a small space and that is going to make the picture over a very good quality but if you get a, just a, a simple phone or just a simple phone uh, with let's say a 1 MB um, uh, camera 
uh, <laughs> you will see that this 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 photo when you take it from that phone it is going to be just maybe zero point something kilobyte <laughs> or maybe something to do with uh, let's say uh, maybe 10 kilobytes and stuff because it's there are not many pixels that you're using to represent that guys let me know waste time to talk about this um, if you want to learn more about col uh, color depth you guys you can you can do that um, um, uh, on your own uh, on your own okay so other than that um what also the the, the the disadvantage or rather the advantage of um tempering with the color depth and all these things is that you are going to um to make the file storage to be a bit small okay notice how when we are changing this the size of the picture is being reduced and so the space that we're going to need uh, is going to be small and relatively um, or consequently you're going to find that the picture is going to be loaded faster when you put it in the browser okay when you load the web page okay so the other thing also is that um, when you reduce um, when you change um, for example the the color depth um, to, let's say to a from uh, 16 bit or 24 bit to 8 bit you are you tempering with the the quality or, or the, the the yeah the quality of the image okay so it's going to reduce uh, on its quality guys let's go ahead and type this out this stuff i just wanted to explain this so that you guys can understand what um, i'm talking about so let's type our evaluation here so let's say we can also um, change the file format from let's say png to um jpeg or jpg or from png to gif okay these are different file formats okay so what happens is that when you do this this will make the file reduce in overall size and make the web page load faster okay the disadvantage of this is that the disadvantage is that the quality of the image resolution will be reduced okay or the resolution let me just say the, the resolution will be reduced so the quality of the image will be reduced that is fine the other thing that you can do is you can also reduce the color depth the color depth of the image say to um, let's say 8 bits per channel okay per channel okay 8 bits per channel and I've just talked about what what this means so you have 8 bits representing um, if it's a 24-bit um, uh, color depth image, so you have 8 bits representing each channel. But if you reduce it further like that, then you may have maybe 2 bits representing uh, red, 2 bits representing green, 2 bits representing um, um, something like um, blue. And then the other 2 bits maybe will just be used for something else. Okay. Okay, so this is this is fairly fine. I'll end here. Um, we've typed um, maybe 15 words. Um, so at most, we're told that we should use not more than 100 words. So that should be very fine. Okay, so I'm going to um, go back here. And uh, I'm going to end this video on step number four. And um, in the next video, we're going to resume with step number five. And with step number five, we're going to... Um, to start looking at um, the uh, web page okay when we have this some of these properties so I'll see you guys in the next video when we do step number five okay so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, see you shortly